My name is Doug Gelman, and I coach out of ATP Sunrise. My name is Daniel Wyatt. I'm fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, and I've been training for a little over six years. Uh, well, I've been fighting, training for uh, probably over 40 years. I got into fighting because it was the ultimate test. I just love pushing myself. Going against somebody else in a cage, it's just something about it. It really gets my blood pumping. Representing Florida is great because uh, here, we have got uh, a lot of fighters. It's, uh, it's one of the great states for MMA fighting, amateur as well as pro. I love American Top Team personally. I started at American Top Team Davey and then branched into American Top Team Weston and then recently started training full time here. ATT uh, will represent Florida really well. Uh, we have uh, some great fighters, a lot of skilled people, great coaches. You know, it's a great organization. My coaches, I absolutely love them. Every single one in every aspect. Barbosa, an amazing jiu-jitsu coach. Steve Bruno, awesome striking, one of the best. Ryan Quinn helping me with MMA. All of them just making my game so much better. There's a whole bunch of them, really. I mean, uh, uh, you know, Daniel Wyatt's a good fighter who, uh, who's proven himself. Uh, Miles Amos, who just won a championship uh, in one of the local organizations and uh, is a great fighter at 185 pounds. Um, Delano Taylor, another great fighter uh, uh, at 170 pounds. So you've got some really good guys out there who can uh, who can really represent themselves very well. I finished most of my fights so hasn't gone out of the first round. But, uh, you know I've been involved in amateur fighting for a long time as well and so uh, um, I think this is going to be a great opportunity for these fighters to you know represent themselves, you know be seen on TV, you know, improve their skills, become better, and, you know, one day have the opportunity to go pro. I like the Elite Amateur Fight League. It's going to be a good platform to get amateur fighters known. I'll be on TV quicker. It'll be great. I, I definitely feel good about being on TV. I got the face for it. I think this is a great way to go because it'll give the opportunity for these, you know, for people who, throughout the whole country to have an opportunity to, uh, uh, to see fighters that they normally wouldn't get the opportunity to see and to, uh, for those fighters to create a fan base in, amongst those people. I absolutely love it to be able to compete. It's such an honor, especially being the one from this gym, so I'm gonna put on a show. The Lead Amateur Fight League is gonna give a great opportunity for people throughout the country, from the East, West, Midwest, you know, the South, to, uh, to, to see fighters that they normally might not get the opportunity to see here on the amateur side and have an opportunity to uh, see those fighters build a fan base. I think American Top Team is going to go all the way. We're going to win the whole thing. Nobody can beat us. Well, Virginia better be watching out. American Top Team is, a, is an outstanding place to train with great fighters and a great opportunity for our fighters to train with the best fighters in the world. Amateurs training with pros, pros training with amateurs who help improve their skills and help them become better fighters in the long run here. So. Virginia better be watching out for our fighters because uh, our fighters are coming to fight. Uh, their skills are, are at their best and they will be prepared for anything that comes at them. I don't think Jackson Wink is going to be able to bring it. I think American Top Team is just going to destroy him in every way. Jackson Wink hasn't had the opportunity when it comes to the amateurs here to fight against uh, fighters, our amateur fighters from American Top Team. And they're going to be pretty surprised about uh, how good they are, and the quality of the fighting, and the quality of their skills. Virginia doesn't stand a chance. Jackson Winkle, John, let me tell you, last year you were the champs. However, we weren't there. We're there now. So you better watch out for us, because we're coming to take your title.